Idaho is home to some beautiful landscapes, as you saw in that video. Lots of people live here because of the access to the outdoors. Sure, but sometimes when storms roll in, outside can be a pretty dangerous place to be. Chief Meteorologist Rick Lance, he explains. Nature is capable of spectacular fireworks. The state of Idaho can see anywhere from 9 to 36 days with thunderstorms in a year. However, <laughs> lightning has the ability to turn an everyday thunderstorm into a potential killer. Idaho has the four seasons, and most of us love just to get outside and do what we want to do. Of course, it's been my privilege over the many years to forecast recreational weather so people can make that decision. Sometimes a forecast can include dangerous situations and leave impacts that have been felt over a lifetime. Laura Eusterman was directly hit by lightning in 2007. She was looking at houses in Hidden Springs with her mom and two of her sons. After the lightning struck, <laughs> yeah. oh. where are you? Oh my God. <laughs> Can you start CPR? Yes, I have, but I think she's gone. Eusterman's mom performed CPR and saved her life. She was in a coma for weeks, and recovery was a long process. Going from regular daily life to all of a sudden waking up and, and you can't move and, and it's hard to breathe. I mean, it took a good solid year. I would say a year to 18 months before I was like, okay, I can kind of get back into sort of a groove of my life, but it never fully came back. You know, I was, I've always been just a little bit broken. <laughs> so if you know there are storms on the way and you're debating on whether or not you should go forward with your outdoor plans, Eusterman says, it's better just to play it safe. I would say don't test mother nature. She's not very forgiving. It seems like a silly thing to, you know, look up in the sky or hear thunder in the distance and, and, and run indoors. You know, there doesn't need, to, you don't need to be an alarmist, but, but definitely be safe. The storm will pass and you can go out and continue whatever it is you were planning on doing. Just, just don't test it. The key to staying safe with lightning is to recognize the danger and avoid it. But if you're outside and lightning is near you, what can you do? Once you hear lightning, go inside, preferably in a sturdy building. Get out of the swimming pool, the lake, the river, or any body of water. Don't go on top of a hill or an elevated area. Lightning tends to strike the highest point. And if there aren't any buildings around, then get into your car. Don't stand under an isolated tree or lay on the ground. Instead, crouch down in a ball with your head tucked and your hands over your ears. That way you have minimal contact with the ground. I hear so many people tell me that they just love thunderstorms and they like to get out and watch them. But I want to emphasize that the forecast is more than just recreation. It can also protect you and your family. Overall, if you hear thunder, lightning is nearby and close enough to strike. So when thunder roars, go indoors. Be careful of spring. We'll get our share of thunderstorms and with them, the danger of lightning. A lot of people like watching lightning storms. Yeah, and getting Beautiful. outside and taking those pictures yeah, and stuff like that. Exactly. But it is a real danger. It is dangerous. And Rick, you have your own personal experience well, with lightning. It is kind of close to home uh, on this thing. I think of the Boise River Festival back in 1988. Some yep. of you that possibly remember that. I was with Carolyn Holly, and we were covering an event. Uh, we had a storm. We had rain. She was standing in a puddle holding a microphone. And with lightning in the area, she felt a shock, okay? She was okay, but it scared her, it scared us, yeah. and that sort of thing, but it just shows how close these things can, can develop and the fact that you kind of get into the moment you forget about that. But this spring and this summer, and that's what we're doing this for, is just to let you know, hey, you hear thunder? Get indoors, okay? Don't, don't be playing with that, but enjoy Idaho for what it really is. So the microphone. That was the that was the. Target. But it also didn't well, hurt or help. But depending on how you look at it, we had a big old uh, live truck mast sticking oh, up yeah. in the area, and that kind of attracted some of that. And we big never. Metal pole. Is that probably why we made the rules that we never bring the live trucks out that's, in thunderstorms? Yeah. Yeah. That's always been the rule, but that just kind of snuck in that day. Okay. Yeah, in fact, they always uh, check with the weather department just to see if there's yep. lightning in the area in their summer. Smart. And if they do, then they don't do it anymore. Okay. They they you know uh, uh, scrub the emission outside.